Hi there, you're welcome to Damien Rx Care channel where we talk about medications and how to use it properly. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below in order to be able to get alerts anytime we post our other educating videos and being able to support our Damien Rx Care community. So today we will be talking about Novolog, which is a fast-acting insulin medication. And Novolog is synonymous with Humalog. So it, this medications are used in treating diabetes in patients that both have type 1 as well as type 2 diabetes. So this medication is just like insulin and it kind of helps regulate that blood glucose and it decreases the A1C a whole lot in these patients. This is usually a go-to medication in patients with A1C above 10. And because of um, how much it decreases the A1C of more than 2%. All right, so what are some of the side effects of these medications? So a, side of, a common side effect of the medication is low blood sugar. So that's why you want to make sure that you're taking this medication with meals. That way you're not having um, a sudden drop in your blood glucose due to the insulin you just injected and start having symptoms such as sweating, shakiness, hunger, as well as blurred vision. So this medication can also cause redness, swelling, as well as itching in the injection site. So you want to make sure that you're careful and you're making sure you're cleaning that area with alcohol wipes before injecting that insulin. Also, in patients, this medication can cause something called lipodystrophy, which is known as fat tissue thinning or thickening due to injection of insulin in that part of the body. This medication can also cause weight gain in patients as well as swollen limbs such as swollen feet and also cause antibodies in our patients. So make sure that you're aware of these side effects. And if you start noticing any of them, make sure you reach out to your doctor in order to see if they need to change your therapy to another medication. So how do you take Novolog? So the Novolog and the Novolog mix, like I said, are fast acting um, insulin that you wanna take 15 minutes before meals. Usually you wanna make sure that you are going to eat something before you inject the insulin. That way you can prevent that low blood sugar just in case if you lose your appetite. Also, do not you don't want to mix this insulin with any other insulin product the 7030 prefilled syringes is usually um injected and before injection of that um syringe you want to make sure you roll the syringe in a horizontal position between your palm about 10 times and gently turn the pen up and down for about 10 times until the suspension appears uniformly white and cloudy and making sure that you're injecting it immediately also, you want to make sure for the valves that you're rolling the valves in your palm in an horizontal position gently for 10, 10 times and making sure it is in a uniform white and cloudy suspension before drawing, up, drawing it up in your syringe and injecting the medication. Usually patients will inject um, the insulin in areas such as the upper on this under the skin in areas such as the upper arm, um, the butt as well as the stomach area and the upper leg area. Like I said, you wanna make sure that you're rotating that injection site in order to avoid fat tissue thickening or thinning that may occur from as a result of the injection of the insulin in this fat tissue area. Do not inject, do not refrigerate the 7030 prefilled syringes after punctured, and this may be used in room temperature for up to 14 days. For the 7030 valves, you want to make sure that you avoid um, taking this um, or injecting this valve after 28 days. So for the 7030 valves, for you can keep that at room temperature for up to 28 days after it has been punctured. Do not share insulin pen in order to avoid any blood um, infection risk such as hepatitis, HIV, and other blood-related infection. Also, you want to monitor for signs of low blood sugar, as I said earlier, which is sweating, shakiness, hunger, um, and blurred vision. And like I said, making sure that you're wiping this area that you're about to inject the insulin with alcohol in order to make sure that you're not exposing any germs to the inner parts of your body. 
All right, I hope this video was able to help in terms of what to look out for while you're on this medication. Make sure you check out our other videos in order to see um, other informative contents that we have on there. Also, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button in order to be able to join our Damiarix Care community and also to be able to get alerts anytime we post other informative content. All right, thank you and stay blessed.